sound right there, guys. It sounds this week's clucking good special. You call in right now and order you a two piece, and we'll give you another piece for free. Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, here we go again. We're trying to get going anyhow. Uh, who in the hell gets a, a cold now that it's nice and hot in summertime? I don't know what I have. My throat just kind of hurts a little bit and I've been a little runny and stuffy. That's why I got me some warm tea with my secret blend of herbs and spices. <sighs> I'm going to tell you guys right now, this week, the odds are stacked against us. I've been trying to get going for two days. Two days I've been trying to get going. And Monday, Tuesday, guys, I just... We have so much stuff going on with merchandise behind the scenes, and it takes a lot of time and energy. We appreciate the support there, uh, but that took up a lot of it, and anything, and I mean anything, anything, I've tried to do during then in between merchandise stuff has not gone my way. I'm trying to get supplies. Hardly no luck. I was trying to get supplies. Still hardly no luck. <laughs> Those two days were good for our merchandise, was not good for our video. Uh, now today, little Hot Rod, she's got one of the, the days at school where they compete against each other at the track with like tug of war and stuff like that. Dad's never got to go to one before, so Dad's going. Sorry, y'all, I'm going. And that really only leaves us with a few hours to get stuff done today because I gotta leave in a couple hours, then I'll have a little after work. Uh, guys, I am literally firing from the hip on this one, I promise. Get my doors unlocked. What I would really like to do today, I would really like to get some color on that Datsun and start assembling that thing, guys. Uh, I don't know deadly about paint. We'll cover that in a minute. Good morning, world. Look. I can feel a little crummy, guys, but I'm still ready to tackle the damn day, okay? We wanna get some color on her. Now, if you watched last week, you got to watch her sit outside and do the tango with the Oklahoma storm systems. Uh-huh, joke's on that hell, cause uh, she's solid, she ain't scared. That Datsun may beat the hell, but that wind beat the windshield, so we're gonna call her one to one. Windshields are overrated anyhow, guys. That's Pot County AC right there. Leave that windshield out, drive top speed. 45 miles per hour, and all that air just blows through and keeps you cool, leaving on the hottest summer day. Now, unfortunately, we had to take our dollies here off-roading. Sometimes you gotta fire up the old hog and let her eat. Oh, she, she done ate a flat tire, what the hell? Damn 33 inch mud boggers gone flat on us. We just give her the push of shame and let her eat another day. I bet you old Speedy will rip though. I'm sure you've seen that thing out in the storms and you're like, dude, you've just got it sitting there in all that rain, all that hell. What the hell are you doing? This is a patented technique, guys. What I like to do, since I had this thing sandblasted and painted, I like to find the areas that the sandblaster may have forgot to paint something. Kind of like right in there. Now we know. Slight rusting in there. We've got you detected. I see you there. Can't hide from us. Good try there, steering box. I see you in there, bed mount. I see you in there, stack of dimes. Uh-huh. 
If it wasn't for that patented rust detection system, guys, we wouldn't even know about those spots. I've got a cheap and easy fix, okay? Boom! Basically a juggler. Uh, Y'all can just call me Rattle Can Dan. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm just gonna blast those babies. Now this technique is not patented, so feel free to just rattle can away, guys. Rattle can your problems away. Damn spider on my hat, y'all see that? Got in her little cobwebber and she tried to go up on me. Get her the hell out of here. We'll let her dry from our premium rust protection system there. Now I'm a huge fan guys of this engine enamel from the Duplicolor. Uh, I did the whole chassis of my truck in it. I've done several chassis in it. It's tough. Let's talk box truck mafia. If you're new, guys, that box is going on here. It's gonna be called the Datsun King delivery rig. I ain't released the artwork yet. I've decided it's a secret till we're ready to do the box. But, if you're curious of how these little things can turn out, let me show you our other two members of old Box Truck Mafia. Up first, we got the OG member, the very first one. We got the Yeehaw. She's our little Ford Courier, old U-Haul, obviously, with a slight little rebrand. I don't know what the hell that's doing on there. <laughs> she is a cool little truck, guys. It's a lot of y'all's favorite. But let me show you our newest member. If your old puppy's excited and that tail's a wagon. <coughs> and it's probably because it's seen the old sausage wagon. It thinks it's gonna get a free sausage or wiener. Man, I dig them wheels. We got the logo on her hood with a little extra spice added. She got that budget friendly interior done on her. Of course, we got her all logoed up here, guys. And there she is. That's last week's video if you wanna check her out. You're looking good, ladies. Looking good. You damn right they look good. And these little trucks are fun, guys. Now, if you want to help support right there, we got the sausage wagon sticker. We got the sombrero somewhere. Oh, maybe right next to it, old blind ass. And we got a lot of shirts available. Now, these sausage wagon shirts, they've been flying off the shelf. So I'd be surprised if there's any left, but you can check everybody's favorite, the sitting on your ass in black. But... We added a gray version. You dang right now you can beat the heat while still rocking a Puddin's Fab t-shirt. Yeehaw on fire in stock. Restock on the normal Yeehaw. We've got miscellaneous. We've got kid sizes down there. Around the corner we got some park it in market guys. We appreciate the support. You guys buy it. Me and my family pack it and ship it. Uh, great way to support us. We sure appreciate it. Now I gotta move some of this stuff and then we'll have some we got more releases coming in the future, we'll just say that. Hey, looky there, like it never even happened, she's ready to come into the shop. Come on! Hit that power moonwalk to get her in. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, Michael would be proud, wouldn't he? <laughs> Whip her like a zero turn real quick. I got a bushing to show y'all. See how wide that unit is compared to that unit? That's the bushing we need. That's for a 720. It fits in the hole of a 620, but has the width of a Nissan hard booty. So that's what we need. We got to replace that one. It was like pulling damn teeth to get two of them. I think I got four in that were the wrong one. We finally got a good one. Hallelujah. <laughs> Welcome to the parts bin. She's a shit show in here, ain't she? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you, maybe? Let's see here. She fits that one. She don't fit that one. She does fit that one. So we eliminate one. My eagle eye says both of them's the same length. So maybe it's the outer diet. I don't think it's it. any of these guys. I damn sure don't. Pretty sure that diameter's too big. She's gonna be about 40 millimeter. I'm gonna say she's about an inch point six two which would be about 41 millimeters. I think we need about 37. So those are all the wrong ones. That's good. Well, I don't know guys, maybe right there in that suspension part box that I just recently sat in there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See how her old diameter is smaller? 
how her radius times two is not as big as these others, how she ain't quite so girthy. That's what we want. That'll fit in our hole. Now we take her bolt. Hey, she fits. Check the length. That's it right there, guys. That's what we're after. Y'all thought I was shitting when I said I went through four of them. May have forgot something here. I need a new pneumatic little air hammer thing. I'm gonna go get one of them later. Uh, we don't have time to do this. We do have time to try something though. Oh! Get our spindle hub assembly here and get our crazy tie rod assembly here. Now our taper here does match, but she ain't quite deep enough to get us a castle nut with the cotter pin. She's gonna need a reaming. So we're gonna try to ream it, guys. Ain't never done this before, but I ain't scared. Best way to do this at a nice, uneven, unlevel angle. Can't find my damn cutting fluid. We got some tapping fluid anyhow. Oh baby, locked and loaded. Oh, yeah, be careful. She grabbed a good bite there. She's doing a little bit. She kind of likes to take big bites. Guys, we barely took any material out. You can see the hole already. Some more lubrication in the situation. I'm gonna try to ring with no hesitation. Slow and steady wins the race. Let's check that. Oh yeah, we're getting there now. Got a hair more to go. Give her the old strip tease clean out. She looks pretty good. I don't want to smoke her to Alabama, but I do want to kind of snug it up. Couple more turns and she'd be perfect, guys. We nailed it. You damn right we got that Speedway dropped early Ford's tie rod going to our Nissan hard booty spindle for old Datsun. She's a damn Frankenstein truck. We got plenty of material left, guys. It ain't like we took out a big crazy amount or anything. Just a dab will do ya. Go. <laughs> Woo! The more you handle these, they don't get lighter, I promise. That thing was whipping me. Oh, we got a good cut going right now. We got a good cut going right now. I've been known to go too far. Ain't there yet though. Come on, no whammies, no whammies. Hey, she's perfect, guys. Now, speaking of perfect, I'm gonna go watch a little Hot Rod uh, do her competitions today and see if she don't whip some butt. Man, it got hot quick. Hot Rod did a good job. Nothing like sitting in the damn sun all day. Uh, let's get this old bush in out. Here we go with those damn things. That sound right there, guys, it sounds this week's clucking good special. You call in right now and order you a two piece and we'll give you another piece for free. All you gotta do is seek the king, baby. They only test them damn things if I'm recording, I guarantee it. City manager drives by. Hey, Puddin's recording, sound those sons of bitches. Every time. I'm glad you're working, but turn those noisy SOBs off. We got cotter pins to pull. Couple love taps never hurt. Oh yeah, the old Pot County Speed Wrench popped her loose. Run her about flush. Uh-huh. That thing acts like it's been seated in there since 1977. If she don't want to pop, bigger hammer. Yes, sir. Oh, she wants to play difficult, huh? You want to be difficult? You want to get nasty? Let's get buck nasty. 
Buck Nasty is my middle name. Hey, yo. Hey, that's good. That's a good reminder. You're damn right that's a good reminder. I never put the nuts back on our body bolts here. Find them in a little bit. Oh, she popped. Now how the hell is that spinning after we beat on it? I don't know. But surely we'd have to slice her, but when you're good, you're good, guys. Oh. Well, I thought she popped anyhow. Apparently she did it. There she went. Get on out of there. Whip that baby out the way. We're going to start with drilling out some of the old rubber, guys. Relieve some of the pressure. Give us a little wiggle room. Add a little fluctuation for our satisfaction. Little looby dooby never hurts nothing. Little rubber and uh, metals of flying. Fasten your seat belts and watch your eyeballs. Hey, speaking of which, on a serious note, protect your damn eyeballs, guys. I recommend some that are the correct prescription and look at least half as cool as mine do. You damn right. Now we look good and we're safe. After a few of them, this thing's practically begging to come out of there. Try to grant her her wish. Let's talk about specialty tools for a second. Here's a specialty tool I bought probably six, seven years ago. I ain't reg regretted it one bit yet. Ball joint press set right there. Good for ball joints, but all kinds of stuff. If it needs a pressing, perfect tool for it. If you know you're going to be rebuilding front ends, if you plan on messing with a lot of older vehicles, lowering vehicles, if you've got friends who like you to work on their vehicles, <laughs> for free. You can do it for free, can't you? You got all the free time. Of course you do. Just just get you one of these puppies, and it'll, it'll speed up everything. I see whoever used it last time did not clean it off before they put it up. That was me. <laughs> she may slip off there. She may not. I don't think we're going to fit our impact right there, honestly. Nope, she ain't going to fit. See how this does? She pushed her right through. No problem, because Harley Diddley was holding it because we took all that rubber and metal out of there, guys. She just the damn seat clamp on steroids with every adapter you could need. Looky here. Boom, right out. She basically looks like that reamer over there. See that? Damn twinning right there. There went a couple chunks. Guys, I don't have the right uh, chisel for this or whatever, but we're just gonna slowly work her out of there. She's too sharp, so good old manual labor it is. We're just swinging away, trying to fold that thing in on itself. Thing needs a reverse on. <laughs> there she goes. Boom, baby! And sometimes after manual labor, your buddy Bill shows up with the right punch and it makes the job easy. You're out again, huh? Why don't you take that scooter and go home? Here's what she looks like after getting shot out. We were chewing her up a little bit. Yeah, we boogered her a little bit. <laughs> Think that old carbide scared of a couple boogers? She Hell ain't. No. <laughs> she eats boogers See, for breakfast. He was supposed to deburr it. I think he was porting it. So here's what's cool about our bushing and our little ball joint adapter. It just so happens to fit it. I mean, as snug as can be. AKA, we can hammer the hell out of it and not hurt it. Beat the shit out of it. Talk to me, baby, where you wanna be? Right there? You like it right there? Yeah, right there. 
There she is. That's what you call manual labor. That is manual labor. We could have used that press and pressed it in, but when it's going that easy and you're here, guys, I'm just gonna smack her till oh. she goes. Mama didn't raise no punk. Got a little uh, paint prep right here. <laughs> now, speaking of paint, guys, Slick's on his way over in about an hour. I was supposed to have this thing off these stands, scotch brighted, taped, ready to go. And we just got our bushing in. So we got a scotch bright all underneath here. The doors, the cabs, plenty of tape. Uh, we're probably gonna have to do it on the stands, unfortunately, for Slick. Sorry, Slick, I gotta get the scotch brighten, guys. Now I've got her scuffed pretty good here, guys. Now this door, she has some debris from her old uh, glove wipe. That wasn't the smartest move, was it? I wish I could say I'd give a damn, but I'm just gonna let Slick decide what we do there. All right, guys, we're starting to do a little tape off action. Well, I am. Slick's getting the, the premium gun set up here, guys. You wanna double filter that bad boy or what? <laughs> I guess we can. Don't be scared. Now we're gonna tape off the shop real good. As you see, I, I got the box protected. <laughs> you know what, guys? Everything is so damn dusty in here. It don't even matter. Paint could stick, try to stick to it if it wanted. It ain't gonna stick. I just care if it sticks to the damn truck, okay? There she is, folks. We got the Puddin's Fab Shop Blue. Got the Harbor Freight Special. We've got her half taped off close enough anyhow. And guys, I feel like death right now. I can't even lie to you. <laughs> you excited, buddy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Slick's a pretty good body guy and everything. Now, he ain't ever been, you know, shop painter. So he said it's been a little bit. He probably used something better than what I just handed him. <laughs> uh, but guys, I don't know deadly about paint. I don't know about reducers, transducers, subducers, you know. We're just gonna mix it. Hopefully it don't reactivate the rolled on tractor paint. Cause that'd be a wrinkly mess maybe. That's what I don't know. That's extra patina. Extra patina, <laughs> that's what we're gonna find out. Okay, okay. Just put one more in there. Got Smurf piss everywhere. I told y'all I don't like paint body. Y'all's gonna learn one day. I ain't playing. I BS about a lot of stuff, but this ain't it, okay? Got the old paddle whooper right there. Yeah. Professional whooper. Got holes for... Fluidy. Yeah. Fill her up. We're gonna try on the back of the cab in case we get a reaction we don't want. You like her, buddy? A <laughs> champ. <laughs> I'm easy to pleasey here, guys. I don't know if you know that. Oh, oh baby. If it looks like it has orange peel, it don't. Those are called roller marks. <laughs> She has flattener in her, guys, so she should flatten out and not really be so glossy as she dries. Let me set the record straight here, folks. Slick does not want to be doing this, okay? He's doing this because he's a good friend, not because he wants a fake patina paint job with brushes and all the crap I'm doing, okay? Seat covers to here so you can't see all them runs. Slick side versus my side. Mine's clearly in the lead. <laughs> here, Bill. Hey, you're looking bored standing there. I figured I'd hand you something. That paint, I'm not bored. <laughs> Shit's going through my head. <laughs> <laughs> but people want to know, where are you at Woodstock? Nope. How's that little naked guy running around? <laughs> <laughs> My LSD. <laughs> 15. <laughs> I was this close from being a hippie. We couldn't have picked a more humid day, by the way, to do this. <laughs> what in the cotton candy engine bay we got going on here? That baby's slicker than slug butt. I guarantee it. Guys, I am freaking pumped on this color. Uh, it's going to flatten out as it keeps drying. The more it flattens, 
the better she's gonna look. How is your Harbor Freight experience? Not bad. Not bad. She gets the approval. <laughs> Damn, rookie. <laughs> Be walking in my house, I'll bring you a glass of water. <laughs> I ate this crap so bad, I've been dreading doing this, guys. But I am so excited, so thankful for Slick coming over, giving me a hand. I give a damn if she's got a run or two. A little overspray here or there. You know why? What overspray are you talking about? Not that black overspray. Guarantee it. I wish I could tell you guys I feel better, but I don't. I'm calling her a night. I am whooped. I'm whooped. We'll see how. We don't know. I, hell, I don't know. I like my water bottles to match my truck. Luckily this morning, feeling about, I don't know, 10 times better than I was yesterday. Still ain't 100%, but at least I ain't damn 2%, okay? We're gonna let this thing do a little sun baking today. We'll grab some tools here, guys, in case we find us some parts. We're gonna take the work truck today. Uh, she's only got one problem. You get going about 40 and these here, they get to screaming, don't they, Bill? Seen away. I thought a UFO was landing on top of her. <laughs> kind of hoping if we pull that to that, then that to that, and so on, maybe we'll sturdy her up enough. Let's give her the banjo test now. Man, Bill's gonna hit the dusty trail. Now for driving, I do like my tinted glasses, okay? Don't mind the old editor Einstein's here. I use them black frame ones to make people think I'm smart. <laughs> She's doing pretty good. She's a hell of a lot better than she was, but I did bring this. So we're gonna try to build us an air dam here. Now we'll probably just hear this old flapping in the wind. <laughs> Bill's getting a soda pop. Uh, guys, that thing's been humming and screaming since I put the roof rack up there. We're driving decent far today, which is why I just don't want to listen to it. We made her to DNH, guys, and he drug in a few of these little Datsuns. So we're going to start taking a quick little gander here. She got a decent grill, and the bumper's a little whoopty, dude. Now we need some fenders. Uh, I don't think this one's going to be our winner. Now she's got the rear edition yellow fender on her. Hey, she's a little short bed, and because one, two, three, four hooks ain't enough, you better add on a couple extra. Just bolt them babies on. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Hell. Boy, you damn right. That's a bumper if I've ever seen one. Look at that baby. We got the half pipe rounded out. She's she's got the little doohickeys on her where you get traction. Of course, you gotta have them damn bumper stickers. Reserve parking at the UB College. You drive a Datsun to the UB College and you'd be having to fight them women off with a stick to keep them out the back of this rig. You'd have a truck full. Hell, them women got good taste. Y'all know they do. She ain't the best condition truck we've seen. She got a little bit of, little bit of rust in her. We need some seal plates for ours. Uh, inside, we got the pink bucket special. She's the $5 special. Whatever you can put in there for $5 and carry out of here, you take it. Used to have a snapper to cover this back window, I see. That's a bitchin' little mirror on there. I don't know if that's factory or not. No, nope, we are missing a piece of the grill, so that ain't no good. Now underneath the hood, look, looky there. She got the Weber conversion or the knockoff anyhow. There's a CW right there. So she's practically the high performance units, what I'm telling you. Uh-huh. I don't see anything we can't live without on this one. Uh, we do. We could use a really straight hood. She's got a little rest up in this corner. Oh, she's a little crunchy. Now next door, we got the long bed Fred, and she's got the one, two, three, four, five hooks. She's got five hooks, and she features some speed holes here. I did notice the tailgate on this one says five speed, so that's kind of nice. When we tore down my old Datsun, I don't know if y'all remember how the license plate was held on. It looked an awful lot like that, guys. Looky there, she was 2017. I bet she's a runner and a driver. Did y'all hear me drive my voice to that high note just then? <laughs> you damn right I can hit them high notes. Hey, 
And that's a good thing we just found a ratchet strap because I do believe I forgot to bring any with me. Give our gander on the inside. Oh, racing stripe seat right there. Yeah, that's pretty damn fancy. Nothing fancy back there. We'll filter in a couple rat turds. Hey, this glove box ain't broken. But will she open? Oh yeah, and she does have the five speed in her. See? She would half think about cleaning up anyhow. Oh baby, right there. We may have a winner winner chicken dinner on that bumper, guys. She looks tweaked a little bit, but ours is tweaked pretty hard on the one den. Hell, I think she'd work. We need a valence too. That one's yeah, she'd been smacked a time or two. Hey, and this old hood don't look too bad neither. Best head I found so far, I guarantee you that. Boy, what in the will it run we got going on here? I bet she would run. What y'all want to bet? She's got to be a later model. Looks like she has disc brakes on her. Look at this little light here. That thing is sweet. Oh, looky there. She deploys and has a hook where you can hang it where you can see, guys. Grounds through the screw. Then you just run one power wire to her. I ain't saying we're taking that home, but I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up in the tow roller. Now look at the custom cap job we got going on right here, okay? If it works, it works, I reckon. Hey, if it stays, it stays. At least she matches our paint. Uh, I don't know what we have going there. What's that going down to? Yeah, that's for our fancy distributor here because uh, she don't have points. So what would that be, guys? We're going to be looking at like a 79-ish model. There's why she started running bad and they parked her right there. Just a guess, okay, but I've been right before. Now, I've also been wrong before, all right? I think we'll take the light, the bumper, and the hood off of this one. Well, I wouldn't mind having that five-speed neither, but uh, we ain't gonna be pulling her today, I guarantee you that. Boy, he's brought some crap in here. Now, that thing came from where I got the e-haul from, guys. I can tell you that right there. Boy, what in the damn swivel? What the hell's going on here she pivots there but she pivots back there she's got springs right there well those look pretty beefy so that ain't a spring that's a spring all right that's got some ump on her look at those sweet gusset brackets look at this trim right here look at that bicycle look at when stuff had style guys see the sb swing bike it's a swing bike y'all she features pot county handlebar holders don't you worry about that Getting slightly distracted here. We got two more Datsuns and holy beefcake supreme of a brush guard. If I've ever seen one, looky here, guys. Who wants to mess around and find out on that, huh? Somebody done dead once, but this thing didn't lose. We got a couple hooks here. Who knows what for? Hell, I don't know, but this thing is all there. F500. Most folks don't know it, but the 500 stands for how many asses this thing's whipped in its life. She is built like a damn Sherman tank. Underneath the hood, we got Mortsky's favorite right there. Look at that old hog molly rear end. Now on this side, we got a couple worn out shit diggers. On that side, we got the Freddy Krueger special and the old bias ply. And sure enough, we are distracted again. Let's go look at our Datsuns. Now color choice wise, guys, uh, I would really like to find one of these trucks in yellow. My uh, high school track coach, he drove one of these long bed. You don't want to come over here, Red Wasp. I'll whip that ass. Just try me and uh and track man he would throw us in the back of this thing drive us a few miles out of town drop us off in the middle of nowhere we had to run back to the damn school guys he bought his truck new back in the day and was still driving it he still has it i passed by his house the other day it's still sitting there long story short i'd like to find us a yellow one one day hell we're gonna have one in every color if i keep it up just wait you'll see I think a damn beaver may have lived in this one. Holy stick collection. What in the tarnation we got going on here? This damn Datsun's full of kindling. Hey, she got a glove box on her too. Hinges aren't completely broken yet, but they're damn near there. There's that wasp that's about to get the one-two special. Hey, check out that shift knob made out of wood. That's kind of cool. Ain't none of them had good fenders yet. This hood's a little rusty. Fairly straight, but rusty. That front's been whipped to you know what. And this side is not looking a whole lot better. She is a cool little short bed though. Now Bill's out here roaming around somewhere, so hopefully he's still alive. 
Bill! You alive? He's alive. Boy, we got another wheel that run right here. She's pretty complete too, guys. Her plug wires are a little more mismatched and one's Bluetooth. Boy, you damn right. Holy dirt daubers on the dipstick. Looky there, guys. That's to help you spot that thing. How's the oil look? Oh, well, she may have a little water in her. That tip was creamy. Well, that's pretty clear oil. Did you find anything good, Bill? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> Now, she's got the wagon wheels on her. We ain't had wagon wheels on any of them. A wagon wheel with a beauty ring. <laughs> what about these Cuisin arts? What are those called? Cuisin arts. I call those things grandpa saw blades because every grandpa always has them on their old yeah. long bed C10 polished out. <laughs> so this is going to be the body style before ours. So she'll be a 520, 521 something. Hell, I don't know, guys. Y'all act like I'm allegedly called the Datsun King or something, and I'm supposed to know this crap. I, I tell y'all, I ain't. This body style is sweet, but this one is beat. Hey, we got a spare hood right there, don't we? It's in pretty good shape. She's a little floppy. They were a member of something here. Now, she had a rat in her, it looks like, maybe. Look underneath here. Holy God bless, and it's attacking me. Oh, it's like, been here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a new record, Bill. Oh, that's deep, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell is that right there? I don't know, guys. I touch it. Hey, hold that, Bill. We got damn air conditioning up in this piece? Yep. Looky there. Sure as crap, there's a condenser on the front. Wouldn't have guessed that on this rig. Hey, she's got the rear elephant oil cap on her too you can close her down bill i think i think we're done underneath there now there ain't much there on this one i can tell you that that matches our other mirror on that other one so there's a sweet hey, set of mirrors that that bumper's in good shape we got another one of those old beefy bumpers right there guys check that baby out she ain't got a dent in her she ain't got too much going for her other than her custom dash cap there we're gonna try to pull some parts before that heat whips us too bad here Luckily, we're kind of in the shade a little bit. Now, guys, I do believe I forgot to grab a set of wrenches. I didn't bring any small sockets. With the intent of getting a bumper, knowing good and well, bolts go from behind that fender into the bumper. Sometimes I just don't pull my head out my butt, so we got to get down in here. And, well, you're damn right we don't on this side. Looky there, guys. That baby's missing. She wants to come home with us. Show you on this side right there. Yep. She's got a little bolt right there, guys. That whole bracket's spinning. So there may be a bolt in it, but hell, she's loosey-goosey. Bill's on the mirror hunt. These mirrors got the sweet chevron on them. They may look good on the old Dotson rig. What do you think, Bill? Uh-huh. We could use a wider mirror since we got that big old box on her booty. We got approval to pull parts, guys, which is good because Bill got him a mirror. <laughs> got the Pot County extension kit on the old expediter here. There's one bumper bracket, bolt, whatever it, whatever the hell it's called. This side's got the blue turbo and snorkel kit, so she's gonna be a little harder to get to. All right, it's done. It's a, uh... Hold on, let me get my dirt pick here. The flathead dirt pick. We're gonna have to get them chunks off. She is dirt tay. D I R T A Y. Same way down there in Alabama, but we'll get her. Come on. We're short stroking it in here, okay, guys? But we are pert near there. That may be it right there. Y'all want to see the biggest joke of a bumper ever created? Look at old tin, <laughs> tin can Timmy here. Yeah. Cool. Wreck into somebody, you'll know it, not them. Yeah. But they look pretty. Bill pulled executive power and said we're taking the junction block whether I liked it or not. Oh, she wanted to come home with me. Guys, I know so much about Datsuns that I done forgot, you know, more than what you'll ever know type of deal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if we got to have this little adapter down here, if it's different from the ones that did it. 
have the electronic ignition. Now, Bill's taking our light already. He's, he ain't even waiting for me. He ain't quite figured out how this YouTube thing works that I got to record what I do. What I'm trying to say here is we're taking the light, obviously, uh, and this little adapter, why not? Getting hot out here. We're going. <laughs> Bill don't know we're still looking around after we uh, get our parts. That's all right. Once we get this off. Hey, something biting me on my ass. See the coating on them? Yeah, they're platinum golds. Yeah. This is the only place Dobbs and spent money. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they're the same, but I'd rather not be wrong and need it later. Last but not least on this thing, we want the hood. Oh, baby. Found us a hood. Boy, everything's sure coming apart easy on this truck. It's all rusted on the thing, but they still come out real easy. Holy shit, that's like six <laughs> inches, a six inch drop. <laughs> I need a California phone book just to set level with it. <laughs> hey, there's a set of predators under that front seat. They wear glasses too. Look like my glasses, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a retract court mirror here. Oh yeah. She's free. Power tool deluxe, baby. Well, we got all the dats and parts we're after, guys. Uh, now, since he's hauled in some stuff that's, some of it's new, I can tell. We're gonna take a, just a quick little gander around here, see what we can find. Speaking of emblems, the eye on this uh, Impala emblem there, that thing's longer than a Monday. There she is. She's still in there, little two-barrel unit. Bill wanted to show y'all this one, okay? He wanted to make sure y'all seen the damn three-headlight Studebaker here. Of course, I think I showed y'all this Star Chief last time, okay? Uh, there is something over here. I, I think y'all have seen it, but I want to tell you about it. Y'all know which one I'm coming to right here. This one that just happens to say Turbo Coupe. What y'all think I want this unit for, huh? Maybe because she has a 2-3 and the word Turbo on the trunk? Hell, that could be it. Who knows? you damn right that's it. I ain't saying this thing and the Yeehaw have a date in the future. But they've been chit-chatting back and forth anyhow. <laughs> She's got a hood scoop and a hood that Bill can't open. Ooh, that thing is hot. Yeah, it is. Them scoops there actually sucked air. Of course, she does the suction cup deluxe down to here. So, I mean, she was really scooping, guys. Don't worry about the packed intercooler there, okay? Off that exhaust manifold right here, if you could see back there, there's a little turbo hiding. Ford 2.3 liter EFI, baby. Could you imagine being a kid in your dad's pickup and seeing him line up next to a grandma on this thing and just getting his ass spanked? <laughs> <laughs> now, allegedly, this thing was parked for a bad fuel pump back who knows when. Uh, guys, y'all will see this car again. I promise you that. Oh, you damn right, baby. Boom! We ain't strapping nothing. Slid these high performance buckets back. Plenty of leg room. Man, when you're good, you're good, guys. I'll get the mirrors. And we'll be good to go. Big thanks to DNH Classics for always letting me come out and do whatever I want around here. Uh, grab that trunk there, Bill. The old Torola, she rides. We got back yesterday. I was feeling like death again. Called her quits. Got out here earlier. It started hell in again. <laughs> Damn, that one was quarter size. Oh, took one to the side. Got me good. Hit me with a little stinger. That hell was trying to take me out. Don't worry, sun's back. Welcome to Oklahoma, y'all. Me, Mama, and Hot Rod just drove all kinds around trying to find some hardware. I got some here, I got some there. Hell, I got some a little bit of everywhere. And I ain't feeling like a million bucks today neither, okay? But. We're going to start doing a little assembly here. Now, I reckon we're going to start up here at the front suspension. Uh, I don't remember which one's which as far as what side goes to what side. But do not worry. I believe I wrote us a note in the toolbox. Upper bump towards the front. Here's our upper. Right there's the bump. It needs to be towards the front. So that's the driver's side. So over here in the storage department, where the hell is it? Here's our passenger. Now these are the arms we extended and everything. 
when I had the truck blasted and painted, I just had them do these as well. Uh, our bushings in these were actually pretty solid, so we ain't replacing them. We could use some ball joints though. Gonna have to come back here to damn Death Valley. Back in here, I've been accumulating some parts. She's for the lower. There's the upper. Maybe a little spit shine won't hurt. Get her in the vise here. Of course, she slides up into place. We're gonna get all four started and torque this baby down. Oh, we're gonna get them nice and snug. Yeah, oh. take her till that elbow pops. Oh yeah. These ball joints trip me out because they're the first one I've ever seen that don't have the hole or a castle nut. They just got, hell, and nylock we trust, baby. They'll hold till they don't. When they don't, you'll know it. <laughs> Slap that old A-arm on, bump facing forward. A little lock washer and nut action real quick, maybe. Trying to whoop me. Oh, there we go. Hit her with some real torque. She gonna be looking good. There we go, baby. Of course, as we go down through here, I'm gonna do both sides the same. Next, we'll need the old triangulation specials here. That body filler covers beauty right there. For them, we're gonna need some bushings and I believe they're right here. Yeah, they may all be in there. Probably should have pressed the ball joints in these before we painted them. Welcome back to another episode of how to mess up your paint job. First, blow off your body filler. Next, install the soft jaws in your vise. Beautiful. You gonna clamp that baby and clamp her good. Damn, that's a snap ring right there. I ain't got no damn pliers cut out for that mess. Well, that's good right there. That's what you want to see, a floppy ball joint. That's not exactly press fit there. Uh, that's definitely not what we want to see. Moog problem solver, more like problem maker. And that concludes this episode. Uh, I hope that helped you change your ball joints. Oh. Great news, I did a little research, guys. This is the correct part number, okay? They only made one. A uh, ball joint from these from what I can tell now. She's loosey-goosey. Here's what I think happened I think I messed up. There's a ball. I dropped it I dropped a smack dab in the middle of shit island because we've got a situation After looking these up guys the day I was scrambling to get this truck to the sandblaster I blew this suspension all apart. I slapped my ball joint press on these and they were hard to get out But I pressed them out however I do not recall removing the little snap ring that helps retain it in there, which means I also pressed it through there, thus opening the hole. <laughs> oh man, why am I laughing? This ain't funny. <laughs>
Can't say I'm proud of this, but let me break her down for you. Because we shortened this thing, it's got her bag plate. Of course, she's triangulated, shock mount, gusset, all that, guys. In the future, uh, this thing comes off real easy. When we need to change this, I will unbolt this, and I'd rather cut off the end of this, weld on a new one, brace it all up how it needs to be, put a new ball joint in like that, then rebuild this whole thing. I just want to keep going forward right now. I was upset with myself at first, but this is just a it is what it is situation. The hell are you gonna do about it? It is what it is. They hell they may make a ball joint for this because people do this and it's common. Hell, I don't know. Uh, I'm just showing you what we're doing to keep moving forward. I promise I didn't plan on wielding ball joints today, okay? But hell, here we are. Because we are professional, we're gonna take that off and hit her with some touch-up paint. Of course, they just pop in, slide in, whatever you want to call her. Tap in her sleeve. First bolt. Second bolt. Luckily, these are both easy to get to. I say that because I don't have nuts for either one of them, so that's just dandy. Next, we'll get our airbag on. Gonna redo our fitting here. Kind of maybe clean her up a little bit. There we go. Man, that should not have been that hard to start that, guys. I'm getting whooped. I'm past getting whooped. I'm whipped, guys. I still feel like hell. I'm about ready to burn this Dotson to the damned old ground. Put her back where she came from. Not really, we're too far in. But I know when I hit my breaking point for the day, and we're there. Y'all better be happy it suns out, guns out, not suns out, buns out. <laughs> that thing's tattooed too. You don't want to see that, do you? My energy's down today, but we're making progress. Before I went in yesterday, I ended up powering through and getting this side caught up. To get going today, we want it to look like that, but we are starting with this. So she too is about to get the rattle can rebuild. First, we're gonna hit some reps. We get that blood flowing. Maybe we'll get that energy up. Or maybe we'll wear ourselves plumb out. We're gonna zip her apart. That three bolt special gets you your steering arm and it releases your bracket and your caliper. We're replacing all this, so that speeds that up. I didn't know I bought the brackets, but I did. Surprise. Ah! Ain't nobody gonna slow me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. That's some good body work. Oh, little tap, tap, tap on our dust cap, cap, cap. Then we're gonna remove the cotter pin for a win. First place, Retaining Spacer Castle Deluxe. I don't know what that's called. Yeah, finger tight as expected. She'll pick up off there. Pull her washer and her bearing out. Little cleanup and we're ready for the rattle can rebuild. Get these all out. Bill would be happy to know that old Nissan still spends money on their hardware. Get those babies separated. Y'all know what I'm doing, getting it clean enough till I'm happy with it, then we rattle can the crap out of her. As that bakes, we're cleaning up our uh, little greasy parts here. Now the bearing, to get the grease out of it, I like to use a little air pressure. You 
go ahead and load this baby up. Guys, there really ain't no reason to replace them bearings or nothing, everything. If it looks fine in there, grease her up a little bit and sand it. Slap a rotor on. So small details like this, guys, that really make or break a build, you know? Uh, rattle can bolts on the back side. Welded ball joints. You know, are we building nice or are we not? Try to add a glop of grease and all I did was make a damn mess. I'm gonna add a little more here. They say about a golf, golf ball size amount. And that's usually what I do. I just use golf balls about the size of baseballs. <laughs> Next, we pop in our performance ceramic brake pad, okay? That's for premium stopping and this old Datsun. If you need a stop on a dime, it's happening. And this old ass Datsun. And that is that. Damn screen was dirty, so that's good. She is ready to go on the trip. Of course, over here, she's gonna sit in place. So I went to tighten that. I thought that hit the A-arm. It did not. It was that bolt hitting our airbag. That's what you want on your new airbag. Can't do a damn thing right this week, can we? <laughs> now we may have split the outside, but she's still holding air. So we'll have to replace that. But I ain't got another right now. Got the bottom one tight without adding another hole in the bag. So you can say we're back on the come up here. Get her ready for a little lubrication. Got a cotter pin. This side's good to go. Found her on Rock Auto. We're gonna try her out. Blend her in. Just kind of using the eagle eye and about right there looks pretty good. Got that eagle eyed. First place we take her guys when she's actually driving to the alignment shop. So I don't get too worried about this. Not to brag or nothing, but when I built that travel wall, I glide everything pretty good. And then I took it to the alignment shop and they wanna know why I brought it in, what was out on it, cause everything was intolerant. Woo, when you're good, you're good guys. Gave her the eagle eye too. So now we just gotta connect that to that. We're gonna have to ream that and that. Boy, howdy, I think she's gonna work. We'll take her. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> I looped everything up, and I can honestly say this is the first mini truck I've ever had that has tight steering. Feels weird. I think we've got our front all done, except shocks. I lost the shock studs, so my lovely wife brought me a couple more. New balance, new stud. So a lot of folks wanna ask, hey, Puddin', What's the best brand shock to run for air ride? The Monroes, the Beluktonsteins, or whatever the hell they're called? Some damned old quadruple reservoir Fox Racing. The answer's simple, folks. A good old Yeehaw brand shock's your best bet. If they work on the Yeehaw, they'll work on anything. We ain't got the shocks available yet, but we got the stickers available at the www.puddingsfabshop.com. Little snug of lugging right there. Oh, baby. Now that we got them old Yeehaw O-Matics in place, to feel like a small, small victory happened this week. I'm gonna throw the rear end in real quick. I can't talk. Uh, guys, it's just bars, bushings, bolts. Oh, baby. About to show y'all this after the front. I just lowered the truck down, guys. Got it where I can work it on jack stands. Uh, let's check this baby out. Oh, Mother Teresa, look at that thing. Gosh, she's looking good. We got her slammed down. Now the back was just slapping in some new bushings, bolting her all back together. Nothing too crazy, but man, she is looking G-U-D. Hot damn, she's looking good. Of course, y'all seen the front end, but it's cool to see it all together looking nice and sat down here. For budget friendly guys, I am not mad at how she's turning out. But once we slap the interior, get underneath the hood finished, uh, maybe find a front clip. Of course, we gotta get a box on there. Of course, it needs some artwork, then some brakes, and you know, 
exhaust, a uh, little wiring, air management, uh, oh yeah, we need to pull that dash, and I'm sure a couple other things I slightly missed are basically on the home stretch. <laughs> Close enough anyhow, guys. Uh, it feels good to be here, okay? Uh, we did make some progress. We did get some parts, which is good. Uh, now, me and my family, and I mean like whole family, is just now getting to celebrate Mother's Day. Everybody's coming over. I'm still recording, I'm still editing. What I'm saying here is I gotta get going because the clock's working against me, okay? We're on the Instagrammer. We're on the Patreon. You know, good and well, we got that good merchandise at the www. <laughs> .puddingsfabshop.com. Get it while it's hot, baby. And lastly, but not leastly, don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. Damn, she drives good. Y'all know I had to take her for at least one cruise. <laughs>